What's gonna be in our mouths 200 years from now? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're peering into the future to see what the foods of tomorrow just may look and taste like. And today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Yeah, HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week and their produce gets to you faster than a grocery store. So it arrives at peak freshness and flavor. And that's what I really like to hear. When a waiter asks me how I like my vegetables, I'm always like, Freshness, please. Yes, please. And HelloFresh's selection of tasty extras is getting bigger and better every week, featuring quick breakfast and lunches, mm. additional proteins, savory sides, and drool-worthy desserts. And you know what else is getting bigger? My boys, my sons, they're getting bigger. They're becoming men. Uh-huh. So the fact that HelloFresh's larger box sizes offer more servings and more savings is welcome news at my house. That's happening at my house as well. Also, we're trying to be more sustainable. Uh, so we, so am I. I know. Okay, great. That's not, that's, that's, that's not just your thing, that's our thing. Okay, yeah, we like to be sustainable. So we really like that HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than that of meals made from store-bought groceries. Uh, that fact alone makes these Rajas quesadillas with salsa fresca, southwest crema, and guacamole oh. taste even better. Mm, I can taste the Rajas. Mm. Well, can you? That's good. So, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM12 to get 12 free meals, including free mm. shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I just had to. I had to swallow that quesadilla. Okay, now when people think futuristic, they usually think of flying cars and living on Mars, but what about the food of the future? It's time for The Future is Headed Straight for Our Tasters. Will it be a burger with a side of fried lasers? Welcome to the future. Is that your future voice? Uh, I don't think it's sustainable. I don't think it's sustainable. Okay. Every round, we're gonna be presented with two mystery future foods. One's gonna be bad, one's gonna be good, but we're not gonna be able to tell which is which just by looking at it. Uh The power of choice lies in the energy board. You'll grab a tube of goo. Whoever has the longer tube of goo gets the power of choice, and then we must deal with the immediate future that is before us and decided by the person with the power of choice. Now, how did we acquire these foods in the future? I mean, we've never been to the future. I'm just going to be <laughs> honest. Well, once I did. But if you're familiar with Nostradamus, the futurist from the 16th century who correctly predicted the French Revolution and the atom bomb. Actually, the atom bomb? I actually believe he did it. Emphasis on the bomb. Yeah. We tried to get him. Couldn't do it. But we did get his great, 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 Great grandnephew, Mostradamus. Oh, 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 Zorks, I'm here from the future. <laughs> Are you calling us Zorks or is that like a futuristic exclamation? No, it's just what we say when we're traveling through time. You know, Zorks. It's... Zorks, yeah. We try to anticipate what the future might look like, and I think we got the shiny threads right, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a little basic. You kind of just look like couple of future dads taking your sons to a turbo ball game, but you know. Okay. That's, I think that's pretty accurate. So this is your uh, time travel device? Yes, sir. It's the finest time travel device that a uh, scientific mind can build. Jeez, my relative Nostradamus, he gets all this credit just because he like sat around thinking of stuff like, uh, maybe there's going to be a bomb. Yeah. But like, I'm doing something about it. I'm being proactive. You brought some foods. I have many foods for you to sample. Hopefully your past palates will not be destroyed by the futuristic flavors. Zorks. Zorks. Gentlemen, choose your tube of goo. Hmm, well that one's temptingly tall. Well, this one's slender. Whoop. Oh, you got oh, me. Pretty close. But I've got you in girth. Well, it does, that matters more. Nope, <laughs> length is all that matters here in the future. Uh, what's more important in the future, length or girth? Enthusiasm. Oh, okay. <laughs> great! Right. I've got the power of choice. Gentlemen, today we start our mouth journeys with some of the prettiest foods I have ever found from the year 5000. Oh. Behold, your eatables. 
What the crap? Sorks! You did a freaking teleportation of food. That's right. I can do all kinds of cool future junk. Enjoy your food. I will return to the time stream to find your latest nummies. Bye. Bye. He's cool, man. Oh. He's a cool guy. I think that thing Sorks. is rope powered. There's no rope. There's no rope. Okay. All right, Link. I mean, this one's got toppings. This one has holes. I, this couldn't be made now. Oh no, never, never. This is definitely from the future, and it's been proven. Oh, the Susan stays lazy in the future. This one here, I mean, look like a fourteen-sided die. This one, same thing, but with cottage cheese on top. I mean, speaking I of know. lazy, you think they just got lazy and put the nasty in the topping? That is a scary-looking topping. So, is that a misdirection, or? Is it true nasty for you? I think it's a misdirection. It's not cottage cheese, but it's close enough. I'm locked this in. This is your, you're locked in? Now you gotta really bite that stuff. You gotta go for it. Yeah, let's both go for like eating half this thing in one bite. Okay. Future dink it? Future sink it. I think that's nasty. Oh! Yeah. It's, what is it? It's bitter bugs. You know what? Ah! Mostradamus, what did you just eat? Mostradamus, you, I fell for the white stuff. You have eaten a 3D printed protein bar that we created to help with population control after the great human lizard war of 4050. Are you saying you just made me sterile? Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir, have eaten a 3D printed fruit salad. It's very nice. Yes, it's a great side dish choice, but it costs a dollar fifty extra. Hello, it is Stevie from the future. Link, you ate bugs. Oh, bugs and some white junk. Bugs and white junk. Gentlemen, snag your next tube of goo. Ooh, no! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, future goo all over oh, you. Man, that that's is toxic. a long you're gonna wanna, yeah, Woo, you're gonna That is a long e. No look, way! Look. No way! No look freaking at way! That. Cool. The future's got super long test tubes. Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of liquids in the future we need to hold. Well, you have earned the power of choice. All right, gentlemen, prepare your tongues and mouths for the next thing to put in and on them. You've done it again, Mo. Yeah, Can I call you Mo? It's a little too familiar, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe what about we'll... Stradamus? Yeah, that's cool. I'm into that. Okay. Uh... This is some of the jiggliest foods yeah. from the future. Perfect for any date night of tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have to get your next snack, Zork. Oh, you just said a singular Zork. That there time. he goes. Those are chicken nuggets, but it could be made to look like chicken nuggets. These are dark green spheres. Globules. In a putrid looking solution. Both look very scary. Do I go with what I know about this, which is chicken nuggets? But that looks like urine jello. I'm trying not to get too close because there's a smell coming from one of these. I think I'm going with the nuggets. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. <laughs> Unless they did something to the Jello in the future. Uh, oh gosh, what is this gonna be? So I'm getting some gelatin uh, and some nugget. Oh, that looks like a nugget. I'm afraid to dink whatever that is. I'll just hit it with a nugget. Future dink, future sink. No, no, no! Uh, this is like a dead, dead, dead fish. You're pretty close, Link. You just ate an algae ball. In oh. the future, we extract them from mer people. Oh. And Rhett, you ate chicken nugget jello. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. In the future. Yeah. We just like, like to mash up foods. It saves a lot of time. Okay, why are you still pedaling? Oh, I'm just doing this to jack my quads. <laughs> Future swimsuit season coming up, and uh, I'm a little self-conscious about my calves, and yeah, you know. I understand. Gentlemen, it is time to yank your next tube. Oh, 
That's not a euphemism in the future? Oh, no, we don't care for that kind of juvenile humor in the future. Ha! All right, okay. Hey, Neither sorry, do I'm I. learning! I'm going to go for the We only watch tally. sophisticated shows like Cyber Frasier. <laughs> that one was literally just like, burp. Yeah, okay. let's get rid of this puppy. And that is power of choice for moi. French in the future. Gentlemen, you have eaten a lot of foods, but what will happen when you have to eat drinks? <laughs> Whoa, it is Look drinks. At... Yeah, we've got some like colloid situation. Enjoy your drinks, gentlemen. I have to go feed my meter. Whoa. <laughs> Bye, Mo. You can't call him that. Stradamus. Thank you. I hate glitter, and that seems to be all this is. So even if it doesn't taste nasty, it never leaves your system on the outside. What would it do to the inside of your system? And this thing here, delicate pumpkin-esque parfait, looks very tempting. So again, the one to be afraid of is this one. I di completely disagree. This is the one to be afraid of. They could easily slide some nasty into that. Yeah, you're right. This is the one to be afraid of because <laughs> That one's just glitter. Yeah. But I'm afraid of glitter. I mean, can you poop after that? One way to find out. And does it make your poop like a unicorn? Well, here's the cool thing. When you drink this, you poop in the future. Well, you sold me. All right. I'm going to go with the glitter. I think you made the right choice. <sighs> oh, my. Cheers. Oh, God, I've had two in a row. I don't want another nasty. Uh, what? Yes. It tastes like it's super meaty, but it's not the worst. I mean, it could be it could be worse. But like, there's there's is there's deer in this venison. You have drank the pizza spice latte. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> now Elon that Musk now... Jr. invented it to give the most basic people something to tweet about. Hmm. And Link. You drank iron soda. It is soda infused with iron. It's what oh. you need to drink if you ever want to impregnate a robot. Oh, well, I'll look into that. <laughs> oh, God. Gentlemen, prepare to yank your final cylinders. <laughs> All right, there's only two left. I want you to put your hand out at least. But you get mad at me if I do it first. So. I want you to do it first. Okay. Raise. Oh! Whoa! 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 I can't. Look at you! Oh, it, ah, uh. Well, that one's more girth. It seems and longer. That, but I'm very enthusiastic about <laughs> losing the power of choice. Oh! 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 No! Oh, you just, you just soiled his craft. Oh man! Now I can't go back to cowboy times. Sorry. That's okay. I didn't want to go there anyway. Gentlemen, prepare your mouth holes for the final gunk. There it is. You're very consistent in your future magic. I mean, things are not there, then they are. Can anybody do it in the future? Uh, no. Only me? <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, enjoy your final snacks. I have to go return some VHS tapes to a video store, which have become a thing again! Oh, nice! So you just can't help yourself. You don't have the power of choice. Oh, you got, that's right, you got the power but of choice. But you just have to control the lazy suit. I like things rotating. You got a, a, a sizable cube versus some sort of futuristic dumpling. Hmm. What might that cube be? What might these dumplings be? You can slide a lot of things into a dumpling. I've tried. Uh, I think the dumpling is just too suspicious. It's green, after all. So I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm afraid either way. I think you got off easy on the last round, so I feel like you deserve to get the nasty. But that's not how this game works. This thing is hard. I don't know if I'm able to get into this thing. I'm gonna try though. Uh, link it and sink it. What? I don't know what it happened to me again, but is that how many of you do? This just tastes like old cheese. 
this is like a I don't know, disturbing meat with something nasty, nasty on it. Link, you have eaten the gross salt dumpling, the favorite food of our horse overlords. Horse or overlords. And what was this? <laughs> oh, that is a there's a vitamin cube. A single lick can provide all the nutrients that one needs. <laughs> For a okay. voyage to space. You just bit off something you were supposed to lick in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. In the future, just lick it. <laughs> so I just got like my vitamin quotient for the week. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. And did you say I eat salty horse? Oh no, it's just a salt dumpling, but our horse masters love them. Oh. The horses are in charge and VHS tapes are back? Yeah, I mean, you basically know everything you need to to travel to the future. <laughs> VHS tapes are back, horses are our masters, just lick it. Uh, okay, got it. I thank think you, you had a tougher time today. Most Dramas, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say, you know what time it is, but in the future tense. You know what time it will be? Dang, you're having some fun. I don't know where they, they seem like they were in the Laser future. Laser tag? <laughs> Click the top link to watch us decide which crazy future things we want most in Good Mythical More. And to find out whether Will of Mythicality is gonna land. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.